Hi, I'm Sandy Ulnock, Prima Rivanista for May Arts, and today I want to show you how to make an advent calendar out of matchboxes and ribbon. When I was a little girl, I loved advent calendars. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I love getting the treats out of them or hanging decorations on the tree that were inside of them or of course snacking on the treats that might have been in whatever little pockets there were in the advent calendar. It was always such a great way to count down the 25 days till Christmas. My original idea was to take matchboxes and stack them into a Christmas tree and make an advent calendar that way. And while I was shopping for places to find all the little matchboxes that I would need, I found a die and it makes a box this big which holds much nicer treats for the little children. So I thought that would make it a lot more fun. So this is the Lifestyle Crafts Matchbox die, and it comes in two pieces. I've already got it die cut, and I need to score along these lines in here. My bone folder doesn't fit, and I was looking for something that would fit and not make too sharp of a score, so I'm using the side of my scissors and just sliding along that groove to make the score lines in it. And then I will do the same thing with the wrapper part on the outside. I'm not sure what these two pieces are called, but I'm gonna call one the drawer and one the wrap on the outside because it requires two pieces to make this thing work. Now this is the drawer part. You just fold along the score lines and I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive to make the, the drawer shape. Just gonna add it to those little corner panels and I'm using some Tombow Tape Runner to do that. And all you have to do is fold up the edges and then press the sides in. You want to press well enough that they stick nicely. And I wouldn't recommend glue sticks because they probably won't hold well enough to hold this project together, especially if kids are going to use it. They might uh, make a wreck out of it. So now I'm going to fold the wrapper part. Super simple, just along all those score lines. And add some adhesive and press it together. This panel on top is the panel you're gonna to stick to all the other wrappers on the other boxes to stack things together. Now to make these drawers functional, you have to either add a notch in it so you can stick a finger in and pull the drawer out. I'm gonna do that with a circle punch. I messed up the other side, so I'm gonna to try to get this one centered. Um, or you can use a brad to make sort of a little drawer knob on it. I'm going to add the numbers 1 through 25 on the sides of the boxes right there so that you can see those and know what day of the month it is. Here's my assembled project. I have all of the boxes glued together with glue dots. There's some one and a half inch grow grain rickrack ribbon all the way around it, also adhered with glue dots. And I'm just making a loop with a 10 inch piece of grow grain Rick rack, and this is a style of ribbon that doesn't require any bows or knots or anything and I just love it because it's so easy to just kind of stick it together and on a project like this you can get away with it. This grow grain rick rack is really fun for packages so if you have some special packages this is some fun stuff you're going to want to pick up for the holidays. So you just make a loop out of this length of ribbon and then you're going to put more glue dots in it and stick it down right where you want it. Now I'm just going to do a crisscross, but you could also do the other two directions and make this a bigger embellishment on the top. So I'm going to do something that I remember from my childhood. We had a lot of packages that had this particular kind of topper on it. I don't know whether it was just my mom that did it or if she got it from my grandma, but you just keep putting glue dots in and wrapping the ribbon around to make just a circular cute little topper on top of this thing. This would be great on Christmas packages as well as on this advent calendar. Now here's the finished project. You can see I've got all the numbers. These are stamped from a Graphic 45 alphabet set. And here's the beautiful ribbon on top. Very festive and kids are gonna just love this. Thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button down below. You can hit subscribe up above to get lots more great ribbon ideas from May Arts. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what was your favorite advent calendar as a child. Thanks so much and have a great holiday season.